All right, welcome back. It's time for us to talk consumer tech. Now, today on the consumer tech segment, we're going to be talking about using digital tools this Brunia season, Christmas time, to jazz up your Christmas fashion. All right, the hashtag is breakfast daily. The WhatsApp line is 0550585832. We've been joined by Hannah Kwanza, and uh, she's going to help us to get into this conversation. Hi. Morning. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, good to see you. Yeah. All right. Um, so, digital tools mm -hmm. to jazz up your Christmas fashion. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's because get into people, it. <laughs> people don't actually <laughs> think technology has got anything to do with, with fashion. fashion. Mm. But that's where you're wrong. Um, you have what we have in school now. People okay. are studying called fashion technology. Okay. Which is basically coming up with innovative tools mm. digitally. Um, to enhance the production of clothing or garments, okay. as well as on the other side for the consumer to equally purchase and all that. So the reason for such innovations, as we've seen it, is because annually, in every 12 months, worldwide, we produce 80 billion garments. Wow. Yes. It's being produced annually, like every year. No wonder the uh, flea market business is, is such a because we're turning over us very fast. Mm -hmm. So, and wow. even what's even shocking is that out of this um, 80 billion garments produced, mm. averagely each garment is worn seven times before it is put in the dustbin. Hey. So, we are producing more, generating waste. Yeah. We are not being innovative. Yeah. And it's, you know, disturbing. This is interesting. Yeah. The environmental people have their own thing. I studied visual arts, so I okay. did a bit of textiles. Yeah. So when you're using all the soda, the dye and everything, mm -hmm. you're releasing waste. Yeah. But on the individual scale, averagely, each person is generating 35 kilograms of textile weight. Per year? Per year, just in the US. Wow. So if you are going to expand that, it means we are actually yeah. having waste everywhere. But, but it'd be interesting to know what the figures are for Africa because it looks like we import other people's waste yeah, and, it, and, and make <laughs> use of other people's waste for a longer period. Yes, um, it's, it's quite unfortunate that um, we, when it comes to fashion in Africa, mm. I would say it's, it's now evolving. We're seeing guys picking up in the space mm. um, like Bedia Kwanere is doing chocolate and all that. Yeah. So we are seeing them now. I mean, they've been there before. But in terms of trying to match the world standards, mm -hmm. we are now seeing them now. And mm -hmm. they have done something that is helping their businesses. Yeah. And that's what we have to talk about mm -hmm. to ensure that all this small, small uh, business, self-owned dressmaking um, outfits will be able to come onto that point equally. Yeah. So that is the reason why we are talking about fashion technology. It's now a course in university mm. that you can go and study. And to move on from there, you have um, women, us. <laughs> we buy a lot of clothing, we buy yeah. a lot of accessories, but we normally would wear about 20 to 30 percent of the things we have. So that's the reason why when you ask us to go somewhere, we tell you don't have a clothes. <laughs> we wear the clothes at their plate. <laughs> yeah, we have them. Sometimes we've forgotten about them, yeah. that we even bought it. Perhaps yeah. it was a thrift act. So we just bought it to, to dump it and all that. But in the space, you see people using technology to boost up mm. fashion. Mm. So we have things like um, artificial intelligence, okay. which is AI, shortly put, yeah. which would help people. It's just practically simulating the human brain. So... Um, it may be new to you mm. or perhaps even to the viewers watching, but some people react to certain types of fabric. Okay. So how would you know this? So if you go out there in Ghana, I'm yet to see one. But then if you are shopping, they will mm. tell you everything you need to know about the clothing. Okay. So if you are allergic to, let's say, um, polyester. polyester or cotton or something, mm. it's stated. Mm. So as people are shopping within time, what you are helping us do is to gather data, okay. just to also know your market mm. and exactly what they want, so that you don't go and produce something they don't like and yeah. hope that people would yeah. buy. So aside predicting purchase patterns and ensuring that customers are satisfied mm. in AI, we've now seen the influx of um, IoT, which is Internet of Things. So we are seeing costumes now. Mm. that when you put on, it's measuring your heart rate and everything. Yeah. And so fashion is not, it's no more what you know, like the olden day cover and slate. Mm. We've moved on yeah. from, from that angle. Yeah. Even to the point where, I quite remember some time when you go, 
you take your fabric to your proper the, the tailor, tailor or your seamstress. Oh, mommy, you must try. Mm -hmm. So they happy. <laughs> they, you just give it to them and trust. You, you must try. Yes. Yeah, that <laughs> I mean, Christmas authentic. is coming. People are booked. You can't even. Yes. But sometimes it will come and it's no fault of theirs. They've taken your measurement, mm. yes. But then you have a 39, 40 situation. Either okay. the trouser one left is taller than mm. because we've not done put effort yeah. into this thing. And mostly, whilst that is happening, we generate a lot of pieces. You know, yeah, you have people weight. saying, yeah. um, pieces need Bianca. Because you are not calculating the fabric right mm. for the clothing. Mm. Back then, they'll tell you six yards. But if you happen to tear up the cloth and you measure, you realize that no, some of my fabric is gone. So we've seen 3D printing mm. in terms of fashion. Okay. Yeah. So that the machine is actually picking the fabric it needs so mm. that we don't have a lot of wastage. So moving on from the history side, <laughs> it brings us to the fun part. Okay. Christmas is coming. There are a lot of parties in town. How do you know where to go? I mean, the media will tell you there's a situation party happening. We're happening. It's We're happening. happening. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the dress code give a lot of white yes, stuff, right? White. So you need to do something. You need to be appropriate. You need to dress right. And we've seen cases where you purchase something online. You come home and it's tight on the arm. Yes. Or it's, too, it's hugging your bust too mm. much. It's, make, it's strangling you. Yeah. So how do we technology bridge this gap moving on? We've seen VRs which are virtual realities. Mm. So you are shopping, and then you have like a basic web app which you can integrate into it. Then yeah. you take like a screenshot of your body in mm. a tight dress mm. so that you upload it into the system okay. and it sort of creates an avatar okay. of you. Okay. So you can actually put on the clothes yeah. virtually yeah. before it actually comes to you. Okay. Before you realize that ah, the length this of the side is doesn't hanging work or, this is, or it's okay. not flowing well. Okay. So we've this gone into that space now where wow. people are doing like interesting things yeah. in, in that space so that you won't have customer complaints mm. and all that. People are trying things even before it gets to them. Yeah. But the fun part is what we have these days, fashion apps and mobile commerce. So we've seen, we've spoken about e-commerce before, yes. but mobile commerce help people to buy and transact business on the go through their handheld devices. Okay. Now, when it comes to the fashion app, um, in the space, there's Depop. There's also Vinted, okay. which helps people. So if you are a tailor, mm. you put up clothes, and I'm the customer. I buy, we meet, you know, so, common e-commerce. So yeah. that's an, those are apps? That those are you, apps okay. that you, you okay. can use. So on the fashion app mm. side, and also it helps in terms of business, putting up dressmakers and mm -hmm. all those people online okay. whilst buyers come to me. Then we have this um, popular app in the industry called By Rotation. Okay. It's actually in the UK, which is a peer-to-peer -peer clothing rental system. Interesting. Yes. So you don't have to buy clothes all the time. Mm. Um, any party, it costs you, you have to go and shop. Yeah. But if I check your feet size and it's size five like yeah, mine, yeah. of course you can't wear high heels. So it means that the, the, what you wore mm -hmm. by rotation, mm -hmm. I can also. You can wear. You just get rent it for me. You, you rent, you for rent cars for events. Yeah. Why can't you rent belts and shoes? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So wow. it helps people also make money, and the whole system is such. I've not seen one in the Ghanaian mm. space, but. I hope all the tech startups will just pick it and do something like that. Yeah, so I think it will be interesting because it means that people can then wear um, high fashion products. Yes. You know, for yes. relatively cheap, cheap and not necessarily have to break the bank to go and own it. Yes. To say, I'm going to own a Vuitton, I'm going to own yeah. a Chanel. No, yeah. please. And, and even when you own it, how, how often are you going to wear it? Averagely seven times before you bin it. Yeah. Yeah, so we've seen such apps that help people to make money. So you upload it, mm. the costume, you put the description, you get people DMing you, mm. hey, this, I have this guy, can I borrow it to yeah. this place? Okay, how much are you charging? The transaction goes on. Then we have, I'm sure in Ghana, a lot of people know, which is Pinterest. Yeah. The god of all DIYs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So Pinterest is, is very, it's an interesting app. So you have, um, you want to go to a party, you need a simple top, but you realize you only have a scarf. Yeah. So as you're seeing, you just put the scarf together. You have a nice cheek top mm -hmm. that you can step out with. The app is educating people. The mm. upside of Pinterest is that you have people actually teaching you how to cut patterns and sew. So if you have interest in fashion, 
moving on, you can just jump on Pinterest. And there are a whole lot of patterns coming out that you get to um, learn on your own. And you complement it with a little YouTube, and then you have like a business. You can start doing something. Mm. So there are several apps um, out there. These are just to mention a few that you can just have yeah. your Christmas fashion with them. But most importantly, we have um, your favorite celebrities and how they dress. You can only find them on social media because mm. you don't know their house. <laughs> <laughs> so social media, which is a tech, <laughs> a tech platform, yeah. helps you to also you know, style yourself yeah. in a bit. You take inspiration from these people. Yeah. So you see who's wearing what. Who is and wearing then you what? can see what you can borrow and add to your own. Yes. Perhaps yeah. she wore I a like black that. pants, a palazzo pants. Yeah. Huge. Okay, let me try this palazzo mm. pant based on mm. my physique. Let's see if it will work. Yeah. So you put that together and realize that you have your own Super. stunning piece. Super. So that Super. is um, the things that is actually involved in the space of fantastic. fashion technology. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic. Hannah, yeah. Yeah. how do people get in touch? Because I'm sure people are just curiously wondering how they can get more filler from you. Yeah, I'm on Instagram okay. at AmaBlueQ. You can find me there. You can tweet at me at same handle at okay. AmaBlueQ. Right. And I'll respond to you. But when it comes to fashion, just like Isaiah 30 verse 21, you hear the little voice that tells you, this is the part, walk it. So find your own style. Yeah. Put something together. Absolutely. Get to all the parties. Fantastic. Let's have fun. All right. Well, thank you very much to um, Hannah Kwanza, who is at Amma Blue Q on social media handles. You can reach out to her. Breakfast Daily 